hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have 3 to the power of c minus 2 to the power of c is equals to 65 and we solve this problem for the values of c but here you remember one thing is that our c should must be belongs to integer it means that we find or we solve just integral values of c now here the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, we multiply and divide the exponent of both of these terms by 2 so it will be written as 3 to the power of c and its exponent is 2 over 2 minus in the same pattern we again multiply and divide this exponent by 2 and it will be written as 2 to the power of c and its exponent is 2 over 2 and this is equals to 65 and here we use the exponent law uh, you know about that in according to this exponent law we move 1 over 2 inside the term and it will be written as 3 to the power of c over 2 and its whole square minus we write this term as 2 to the power of c over 2 and its whole square is equals to 65 and here we use the algebraic formula you know that if we have a squared minus b squared is equals to a minus b times of a plus b uh, and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b uh, so uh, according to this uh, algebraic formula uh, we write here our uh, above expression as in this form so here uh, in other words first we can convert this exponential equation uh, into the uh, polynomial form into variables so that's why we uh, we will just substitute here the base of this term is equals to x so that our x is equals to 3 to the power of c over 2 and we take the base of this term is equals to y and it is equals to 2 to the power of c over 2 and when we substitute these two values uh, into the above uh, equation so that our above equation is written as uh, when you put this value equals to x it will becomes here x square minus when we put this value equals to y it will becomes y square and this whole equation equals to 65 and now we have time to apply this formula so now according to this formula we write our left hand side as uh, it will becomes x minus y times of x plus y is equals to 65 and now uh, here further in the next step uh, we need to focus in the right hand side uh, but if you see here in the left hand side we have these are there are the two uh, factors are multiplying by each other so now we can uh, write our right hand side into the product of two num two integers form uh, so that uh, here we have the possibilities in which we get the product of two numbers is 65 is that uh, we have 5 times of 3 becomes here 65 or uh, 13 times of 5 becomes 65 5 times of 13 becomes 65 1 multiplied by 65 is equals to 65 and 65 times of 1 is also equals to 65 and if we make the relation between these two factors then uh, we conclude that uh, our first factor is always less than or equals to second factor for all the values of x and y okay so that uh, here uh, according to this we choose uh, the possible factors which satisfy this condition it means that we choose those factors whose uh, first digit is less than the second digit so if you we compare these two numbers 13 is greater than 5 so that we rejected this case if you see here 5 is less than 13 we accepted this case and if you see here 1 is less than 65 we accepted this case 65 is greater than 1 we rejected this case and now here in the next step uh, we just compare our uh, left hand side with this and we call this is the case number 1 so in case number 1 we compare uh, our left hand side x minus y equals to 5 and x plus y 
is equals to 13 and now here first we need to solve these two equations and we get the values of uh, x and y uh, so we call this is equation number one and this is our equation number two uh, and now here first we add equation number one and equation number two so when you add these two equations then this is negative and positive term are gone and we get here x plus x is equals to 2x 5 plus 13 is equals to 18 and here we first find the value of x so that's why we divide both of the sides by 2 in order to eliminate this 2 from left hand side this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and here you have this is 2 times of 9 becomes here 18 so in this case we get the value of x is equals to 9 and now we move backward and we put the value of x here and you see here uh, this is the value of x and this is the value of y now here we need to put this value of x uh, here and we get the value of c because we solve this problem for the values of c uh, so that when we put the value of x here it will be written as 3 to the power of c over 2 is equals to 9 and here we write our 9 as 3 to the power of c over 2 equals to 3 square we know that 9 is equals to 3 square and now we compare both of the sides and when we compare the exponents it will be written as c over 2 is equals to 2 and we get here our c is equals to 4 so this is the uh, value of c which we get here from first case uh, and now here in order to find the uh, uh, in, uh, more values of c uh, we uh, need to focus on second case and now here in second case uh, we need to compare these two factors with these two values so here we first take x minus y is equals to 1 and x plus y is equals to 13 is equals to 65 okay so here these are the comparison of uh, the factors and we uh, get our case number two so here we call this is our equation number three and this is our equation number four so here first we add equation number three and equation number four so again when we add these two equations we get here x plus x is equals to 2x becomes 1 plus 65 is equals to 66 so that uh, from here we first find the value of x so that we need to remove this 2 from left hand side for this we divide both of the sides by 2 you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we will get here x is equals to here you have this is 2 times of 33 becomes 66 so in this case we get the value of x is equals to 33 so now here uh, we need to uh, again find the value of y so that we put this value of x into the equation number 3 and we easily get the value of y so that equation number 3 is implies that uh, x minus y is equals to 1 so we put this value of x here and it will becomes 33 minus y is equals to 1 and uh, here we get the value of y is equals to 33 minus 1 is equals to y we move this minus y to the right hand side so from here we get the value of y is equals to 32 so this is the value of x and this is the value of y so we write both of these values here x is equals to 33 and y is equals to 32 so when we back substitute these values you get here 3 to the power of c over 2 equals to 33 and the value of y is 2 to the power of c over 2 is equals to 32 uh, so here you remember one thing is that we can solve this problem for the integer values of c uh, but on both of these cases you see here both of these cases uh, not gives us the integer solution okay these are uh, both of these cases not gives the uh, integer solution so if both of these not gives the integer solution uh, we will uh, rejected uh, this case and we have only uh, one value of c and which we get here from first case and that is c is equals to 4. this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos